lucid air. It's not often given the chance to start fresh, where you're free to challenge the way things are in pursuit of the way things ought to be. Where design is not determined by history, but driven by the promise of something bigger. Where you have the room to explore, the ambition to create, and the will to transform. Knowing that wherever you land today is just the beginning of where you'll one day go. That is the beauty of starting new. When you're no longer bound by convention, you're free to define your own experience. At Lucid, we are reimagining luxury mobility, combining forward-looking design with groundbreaking technology, allowing us to transform how we use energy, space, and time to establish an entirely new class of vehicle. This is an experience without compromise. effortlessly fast and uh, dynamic and that's something that we really brought into this vehicle and I think it's one of the things that um, I think is making it quite unique as people are seeing it for the first time because it is kind of different than a traditional traditional luxury sedan and that's because the silhouette is very unique the packaging of the car is unique the hood is short the cabin is long of course we have our amazing uh, cabin pillar theme with the aluminum uh, finish and a very, very sleek, minimalist body size with just a single, sim simple line and lower rocker area, the mouth in the front and the tail is very, very clean and simple. The surfacing on the car um, is really one where we wanted to keep it very pure. I wanted a sculptural quality. We wanted it to still be kind of soft and, and uh, fluid but not with a lot of lines, not with a lot of complexity, just keeping it very pure and contoured. It's almost a little bit classic, but we mix it with this modern minimalism, and I think it's, uh, I think it's a big part of the car's design. Next is the face of the car, and uh, this is where the big opportunity and the, the coming together of, of technology has been so vital to uh, making a new aesthetic, making a new face. It's really a form function link up. And much of that is because of the lighting concept and the cooling concept. And maybe Peter uh, can run, run, run us through that. Yes, well, covering these lights have been designed and developed in-house, patented, unique technology to us, uh, micro lens array. And the inspiration for these headlamps is quite different from conventional lamps. If you think of two headlamps, it replicates the human face and that a single lens per headlamp really inspired by the human eyes. And we've taken inspiration from nature, from insects, and thousands of micro lenses. So each headlamp here has a total of 4,870 micro lenses. So nearly 10,000 lenses in the headlamp pair. 
Um, and they're grouped in ten of these little, uh, little oh yes, you can see them, yeah, they're opening now. Each of these little um, pods hold 487 lenses each, with an LED supply in the, the light behind them. And this gives a unique flexibility in terms of turning, uh, they each are gimbaled and to rotate with steering. And also, they, 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 they're created in such a way that each has a discrete focal length. So rather than just be limited to a 2D light beam, you can create effectively almost a three-dimensional light field, certainly a two-and-a-half-dimensional light field. This uses about a third of the energy of a conventional system, um, a little more than a third, so well under a half, and is um, a, a very considerable step forward. We call this lucid vision. Now, at the bottom here, we see this uh, relatively small area intake for the radiators. And this is a, another innovation from our team, from the aero team. Uh, this creates a, a pair of vortices. It's a bit like a, 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 sort of a, a well-known household vacuum cleaner turned on its side that works on a, on a vortex pattern. And these vortices condition uh, the Thank air flow trajectory onto the radiator in a more efficient and more balanced way to reduce drag losses through the, um, the ducts and to give a, 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 a smaller radiator for a given performance of cooling or conversely, more performance per radiator size. And we call this, not surprisingly, lucid vortex. So you've got lucid vision, lucid vortex, redefining the face of the, the car and stating that this is definitively a high-tech product. So it, it's that combination um, that, that really allowed us and gave us the freedom to design out beyond uh, internal combustion. I've worked on enough cars, enough internal combustion cars, and the limitations are always the same. It's always the cooling, it's the big headlight beams. Um, and, and in this case, the freedom that was brought from a design standpoint is really enabled by technology, which is the best form of design because uh, it, it, you, just by its nature of, of its function, um, you, you get a new aesthetic, you get something fresh and exciting and new. Um, just a little piece of information, the, these beams are set at only 10% of their lighting capacity. So the lighting team had to turn them down so we don't melt your faces. <laughs> so, pretty, it's just how powerful they are, it's quite remarkable. So, um, of course we continue that beam around the rear of the car with this minimalist uh, LED tail light as well as the uh, lower bumper. Both front and rear bumpers all in the center here package um, our, all of our autonomous, autonomous features, cameras, LiDAR, radar. Uh, so we've package protected for that with the design so we're able to accommodate that and make it part of the aesthetic of the vehicle. Now of course the interior is huge because um, We've really designed this car from the inside out. It started with the interior package, Peter's vision for the space of this vehicle and how we could lay this out. And that really drove the entire proportion of the vehicle. So the interior has been priority one from day one. Um, and at the focal point of the interior is, of course, our, our OLED display screens, our three uh, touch panels across the front array under one seamless piece of glass. And of course, our large center display which is then retractable into the dash and is finally working. Very happy to say, and it's amazing. Um, of course, the rear seats, you guys all know the story behind the rear seats, and, and they're just incredible. They're at a stage now, and I can tell you the reaction to them has been absolutely amazing. Of course, we have our bench seat, and we've been working on um, rear seat entertainment concept and how to take that forward together with so, uh, some other convenience features in the back of the car. We've got our glass canopy roof. I don't know um, if any of you have had a chance to ride in the Alpha cars with the canopy. It's just incredible. Um, I was blown away by that last night. I got my first ride in the back and it was amazing. Um, and of course the experiential side. Um, you know, Jared and the team have worked really hard going for this idea of maximum capability, minimal effort, uh, unlike cars today, we really want a seamless experience that's connected, natural, and adaptive. Starts with the application, goes through to the natural voice commands that are unlike today's command-based voice, and much more like a, a 
Siri or an Amazon Echo uh, creates a much more seamless experience inside the car where you just simply ask the car what you want and it gives it to you. Um, and nobody else has integrated that kind of uh, natural voice in a vehicle yet and we want to be, absolutely want to be the first. And then lastly is adaptive. The car knows your schedule, it knows your routine, it knows what you like and it adapts to your um, daily experience over time. And it knows your profile, it knows your spouse's profile, and it would adapt accordingly. And of course, as you know, everything we've done here has been conceived with an autonomous cockpit in mind. A vehicle that is wonderful for driving manually, but that is also perfectly suited for uh, an autonomous experience. We have 29 speakers seamlessly integrated into the interior. Um, and this is quite incredible if you think about how silent this car will be. The audio experience has to be something very, very special. Um, we've worked hard from a design standpoint to, to try to find places to seamlessly integrate the speakers inside the car. We're trying to avoid big speaker <laughs> bezels and embellishments um, to adhere to this kind of seamless aesthetic of the interior as well as 12 beam-forming microphones. Um, that is for sound uh, uh, active sound, sound canceling, as well as uh, uh, picking up the voice in all four seat locations. Um, color of materials has been a big part uh, on our group. Uh, Sue and Idle have done an amazing job developing the different materials, very natural, very pure. Because the interior is somewhat minimalist and non-traditional, I would say, we put a lot of emphasis on natural materials. You'll notice we don't use a lot of synthetics or trendy type of de uh, material details in the car. And that's natural woods, natural aluminums, high quality Napa leathers, and, and nice uh, fusions between those different materials is what really brings the um, inherent kind of quality, I think, um, to the interior experience. And they've been working on um, these different themes. I'm sure you've seen them around the studio. Um, and we have our virtual reality up and running, uh, inspired by different locations around California, Mojave, uh, Santa Monica, uh, Santa Cruz, which is what we've done inside the show car, and uh, Lake Tahoe. Uh, you got to check out the virtual reality in the Lucid Lounge in the back. It's, it's quite incredible. So with that, Lucid Air, guys. Yeah. yeah.